Okay, let's try again. Howdy y'all, Christy here with Little Salty Homesteader. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, winter has returned to North Texas, so instead of being outside trying to film something in the miserable cold, um, I thought that I would share my sort of seed haul with you guys. Now this is from a seed swap that I participated in on Facebook in a pretty large group. Um, and this was my first time doing something like this. And I have to say, it is super cool. Um, I, I, I think there's like 10 or 12 people that I ended up swapping with. And um, I was able to get rid of some seeds that I didn't have a use for any longer. We had tried them and they didn't work for us or we didn't like the way they tasted or I don't know how to grow it. Whatever the case may be, um, I was able to pass those on to people that wanted them. And in return, I got some stuff that I wanted. Um, plus, some of these people were very, very kind and they sent some bonuses, um, which really just warmed my heart this morning. Um, and you know, so I thought that I would share this with you so that if you ever have the opportunity to participate in a seed swap, maybe, <laughs> maybe it will convince you to do so, um, because I was really nervous about it before this, but I'm so glad that I did because now I have so much more stuff to plant. Now, um, full disclosure, I did not know about any of these bonuses and I had already set up, um, my, my seed binder where I store all my seeds to have space for all of the new ones. So um, the bonus is I'm just going to file away in the back until I redo my binder again and then then I'll put them in their home because it's quite a lot of work to get that binder set up to begin with. So um, I'm going to try to include images if I can of all of these things and I do apologize. It's quite a lot but I'm so excited and I wanted to share my excitement. So this is Love Lies Bleeding Amaranth. Um, which I did swap for intentionally. Pumpkin on a stick was also intentional. I'm really excited about this one. Um, and purple emperor nasturtium, um, also intentional. And bloody mary nasturtium, um, intentional as well. Now with these, I'm really trying to plant for pollinators and also um, for companion planting purposes. So with the nasturtiums, it's going to help be a trap crop for some pests that I don't necessarily want in my garden, like those nasty squash bugs. So I'm really excited about these. And the rest of these, um, these are all bonuses from one person. It's super exciting. So baby glass gem corn. I haven't had much luck growing corn in the past, but maybe I can try a baby variety. Um, globe thistle, that sounds fun. Cubanelle pepper, that's awesome. Triple crop climbing tomato. Um, blue and white center, pink morning glory, Hume melon, Hamey melon, a type of melon, that's really exciting. Um, heavenly blue morning glory and red, white, and blue morning glory. So lots of morning glories. Um, I don't currently have trellising, but that's definitely something that I will consider adding because morning glories are really pretty and they remind me of my mom. She always grew them um, in a house that we lived in as a kid. They would, we had like a lattice work on our front porch and they would climb the lattice and it was really lovely. So I may try to figure out something just so I can plant those, just to think of her every time I go outside. And then, um, so I got Tulsi Holy Basil. Um, you guys know my love of basil, so yay, more basil. And then Dragon's Tail Radish. I thought this one just sounded really interesting and I'm a sucker for anything with dragon in the name for some reason. So um, yay, I think that's like the fourth variety of something that I have with dragon. Um, and this one, she has the most beautiful handwriting. So <laughs> I wanted to just point that out. Whenever I opened up this up this morning, I was just stunned at her amazing handwriting. Okay, so she sent Cherry Rose Jewel Nasturtium and a, a beautiful little card. Um, I'm really excited about these as well. She said that they're one of her favorites. So I'm hoping that they will make a dynamic statement in my garden as well. Um, I did open all these envelopes this morning to try to save time as far as filming goes. And then 
Uh, Space Master, 80 Cucumber. I'm really excited about this since I don't have trellising. So um, this one just takes up less space. It's a more compact variety. I should still be able to make pickles with it, which will make the boy child very happy. And then Rattlesnake Peppers. I thought that was really fun. Um, we love peppers here. So yay! Then this one has several varieties in it. So we have Royal Carpet Alyssum, a Mazel, Basil, Mammoth Dill. I have Bouquet Dill, so I'm excited to expand my, my dill there. Lilliput Zinnia. Uh, you know I'm trying to plant lots of zinnias this year. Introduce lots of color. Then um, this is Clary Sage. So this is like a medicinal herb, a purple Cherokee pepper, I mean, <laughs> let me try that again, purple Cherokee tomato, this is a tomato, um, this is like a very well known, very popular heirloom tomato, I, for some reason, haven't purchased seeds for this, so I'm excited to give this a try, and then French Dwarf Double Marigold, it says it's mixed colors, so that will add a dynamic statement as well, and repel some pests and make some pollinators very happy. So this next one, um, Canary Bird Zinnia. Really excited, the yellow is just going to add such a magnificent happy pop in the garden. And then this is Jet Black Nigra Hollyhock. I apologize if I mispronounced that. Um, we'll just call that Jet Black Hollyhock. Cinnamon basil. This one is really good for tea. Uh, it definitely has a bit of a cinnamon flavor. Uh, my best friend in 2020, I grew a whole bunch of this and I gave her some and she used it like every day. <laughs> so I really love this basil. And then she sent a bonus of Tanya's pink potted beans, which is really exciting. I have some of these and they're so cute growing on the plant. They're like a a very beautiful pink rose color and that kind of fades into a green. Love it! Then this one. This one made my heart sing whenever um, I was going through it. So I swapped for heavy hitter okra with her and um, she said that because she had such a low amount she sent me a second type of okra and it's called white velvet. Um, it says that it's very rare, so I'm going to try to save seeds from this one because I think that that's so cool. And then she sent me Aleppo pepper, so I'm hoping to be able to make some of the Aleppo um, spice mix that's used in Mediterranean Moroccan cuisine. Um, that is super cool. And then she sent me lime basil as a bonus. Um, I've been looking for lime basil, so I'm really excited about this. It will complete my... Um, <laughs> It should complete my basil collection, I would hope. And then she sent a perpetual spinach Swiss chard, which is really cool because Swiss chard will perennialize here, meaning I will plant it once and it will be a happy plant forever as long as I keep it healthy. So I'm really excited about that too. Um, and then, you guys are so patient. Sunspot Dwarf Sunflower. Now I was trying to trade for a lot of sunflowers last year. I grew two varieties um, in honor of my papa, and they were so stunning that I just really wanted to expand that and really honor him in like a big, magnificent, majestic, wild, sunflowery way. So I did trade for a few varieties more than what I have. So this is Sunspot Dwarf. And then I also got a large red cherry pepper. This is a hot variety. I want to pickle these because when I was 18, 19, and no, 19 and 20, I worked in Italian restaurants and they had pickled cherry peppers that they would give, like whenever you ordered a slice of pizza, they would give you a cherry pepper. I'm sorry, my dog is sniffing the camera. Stop it, stop it. They would give you these cherry peppers um, with the pizza and they were so good. So I wanna try to pickle some this year and see if I can recreate that um, from my early days as a young waitress trying to make a living. 
And then here I have cardinal basil. Okay, maybe that will complete my basil collection. Cardinal is one of my favorites. It has these big, beautiful red flowers. Bees go absolutely bonkers for it. I love it, it's stunning. So cardinal basil and then orange flame marigold. Um, like I said, I was really trained to plant for pollinators and um, companion planting, and both of those do that. So moving on, let's see, I have rust resistant mixed colors snapdragon these are a taller variety so in the flower bed where i'm going to be planting all the flowers i'll try to put those um, along the edge of the patio so it'll be at the back of that bed i think that'll be great lemon queen sunflower um, hot mushroom red pepper this is related to a habanero and a scotch bonnet so i imagine it's going to be quite feisty really excited about that I'm sure Jake will be too. And then white borage. So I already have blue, um, then it's so cute. So now I'm gonna add white. The borage is also a companion plant and it's edible and they say it tastes like cucumber. So we shall see whenever I grow it. This one, some of these have, are so cute. Okay, so this one is mostly marigolds in the swap, which is fantastic because um, you can't really have too many marigolds in your garden. So this is disco orange and then disco yellow um, and then Harlequin French lemon drop and then this last one is scotch bonnet pepper So I have habanero from my papa. I have mushroom and I have scotch bonnet um, And then there's like a Caribbean one somewhere around here. I think that might complete my Caribbean spicy pepper <laughs> collection. Scotch bonnet I want to grow so that I can make my husband curried goat. Um, it's one of his favorite, actually it is his favorite Jamaican dish. I made it for him a few years ago and I haven't made it since and he's been asking for it but I wanted to have the right pepper so now I can grow the right pepper and make him his curried goat and he will be so happy. Um, so next up we have midnight snack cherry tomato and then dark galaxy tomato. Now, some of these you will totally understand um, or you'll totally figure out that I'm a super nerd um, whenever I tell you the names of some of these tomatoes. So this is dark galaxy. And then I have a, I think it's in this one. Rebel Starfighter Prime Tomato. Hello, Star Wars. Star Wars, I had to. Dark Galaxy also reminded me of Star Wars, so whenever I heard both of those names, I was all up on that. Okay, thank you so much. Makes me so happy. I may have gotten things mixed up. That's okay. Okay, so with the Rebel Starfighter Prime Tomato, ah, I also got White Icicle Radish. The idea behind this is as a companion plant for squashes, supposed to help repel, I think, squash vine borer or squash bug. Um, either way, we have both of those very badly here, so the fewer I can get of even one of those, I'll be stoked about. So that's what this is for. And then more lime basil. I am so happy. I'm, I'm so happy. One, it's seeds. It's never a bad day whenever you get seeds in the mail, but there's just so many things that I've been looking to add to my collection or eat some of these surprises, um, things that I've had on my wish list for a while and just haven't been able to get. I'm so happy right now. Uh, and then I have spicy globe basil. I keep saying that, that rounds out my collection, but then there's another basil. And then uh, porter tomato. This is this was developed in Texas as well. So it's supposed to be Texas weather tolerant. I'm going to actually plant it for a fall run of tomatoes and see how it does. Um, somebody on TikTok that I followed did the same thing last year and they had an incredible result from that. So I'm going to give it a try too. They're in central Texas and I'm in north northeast Texas. So um, I'm hoping that the distance between us won't be too far and I still have good results, but I will let all of you guys know. Then Italian white sunflowers. I'm trying to have like a variety of different colors going on with the sunflowers just so it's so beautiful and dynamic whenever you look out there. Um, 
And then she sent two bonuses. So a beefsteak bush variety tomato, which if I start this early enough, it should set all of its fruit and ripen before it gets too hot. Um, or I can do a fall run and it'll ripen as it starts to cool off. So that's really cool because the bush varieties are usually determinate. So um, what that means is they set all of their or they have all of their blossoms occur nearly to the same time and then all of the fruit sets almost at the exact same time and then it all ripens almost at the exact same, at exact same time. Whereas your cherry tomatoes, it just continuously makes fruit and throughout its life, essentially. And then Portulaca double mix flower. I'm not sure that I've ever heard of this Portulaca. Maybe I have, I just can't remember what it looks like. Um, I'm definitely going to try to put an image in somewhere in the frame so that um, we can all see what this looks like. This could be really exciting. Um, I'll also have to look up how to grow it because if I haven't heard of it, I sure don't know how to grow it. And then this is the last one. <sighs> okay. So she sent sugar and spice marigold, which I'm very excited about, and then she sent a bonus, which I'm also super happy about because look how beautiful this is. Bloody Mary nasturtium. Look at that. That is just stunning. When you guys see 52 nasturtium plants out, out in my garden, this is why. Because they're so pretty. And they're also edible and they're a trap crop for pests and the pollinators love them so you know all around a great guy to have around howdy y'all editor christy here um i wanted to kind of show you how i organized these seeds from the seed swap because as you could see whenever i was pulling them out of the envelopes they are in little tiny plastic baggies that don't really leave a whole lot of room for me to write down planting information um so what i did was I got some of these, I got some of these envelopes off of Amazon, um, which I will put the link down below to them because they're really cool. Um, they have lots of space for you to write down information and they're great for like, if you do your own seed saving, um, you can go ahead and write down, you know, when you saved it, what variety it is, how you plant it, all of that fantastic stuff it's it's it, it was great um, for me to use for this because I had so many seeds that I received so I did that for each packet um, that I got and then I put it <laughs> I put them into my giant binder um, so before the package came I went ahead and created my full seed inventory, and this is why I'm a nerd. Um, I have my full seed inventory here. I use Google Sheets to create it. Um, it's sorted by the season that it gets planted, then by the variety, then the name of the variety. So like on this first page, it's a spring, um, and then basil, and then all of the different types of basils. These yellow ones are ones that I have grown before that I'm currently out of and need to order more of. Um, so technically not in my inventory, but I have them on the sheet anyway because it's to remind me to get more. Um, and then my binder is organized the same way. So all of my spring planting stuff is here at the front. Um, <laughs> here at the front. And then I have the varieties alphabetized. So the very first thing is like alyssum here and then all my varieties of alyssum are alphabetized as well. Um, that is kind of overkill. However, that's how my brain works. I need to break it down into smaller chunks and organize those chunks within the bigger picture. Um, so this has been really helpful for me this weekend whenever I start getting ready to plant like my direct so flowers it will be really easy for me to find them uh, and pull them out and you know go get to planting so I just wanted to include this bit of information for you in case you do participate in a seed swap or somehow you end up with seeds in little plastic baggies and you're wondering how you know you can store them or organize them um, this is the method that I use it works great for me there's a thousand other ways that you can do it but I did want to show you what I do uh, just in case you wanted to give it a try so like I said I will have 
the links to the envelopes. I'll go ahead and include the links to the sheet protectors as well because they have been life-changing for me. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching today. I know it's uh, not really gardening how-to content, but I do hope you liked the sort of unboxing seed haul type video. And um, I will be back on Monday with a Make It Delicious Monday video. Um, that one is going to have some kitchen tips for you. It's not going to be a recipe this week. Um, I'm still, I'm working on a steak taco recipe to get out to you guys. Um, with homemade tortillas. So once that is finished being filmed, that will be the next Make It Monday. And then hopefully next week we will be uh, able to have some garden content up on Thursdays that, you know, is back to the normal how to, this is the garden and this is what it's doing type stuff. Um, until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all on Monday.